Hello, Blizzard fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another Daily Blizzard upload. This is a game between Hydra and Jadong on Coda LE. Now, this is the fifth game of their series from the Gfinity Spring Masters 2 tournament that uh, uh, finished up on Sunday of this week. Which means it is hot off the presses, and I'm really excited to bring you this match because it is the siding game between these players in this series. In the bottom right of Coda, we have the Red Zerg Jadong. And in the top left, we have the Blue Zerg Hydra from Root. I did forget to mention that Jadong is from the clan Evil Geniuses. And both of these players are among the best Zerg players in the world. Jadong was one of the best Brood War, play Brood War players of all time, winning six major tournaments. And it took him a while to get over to StarCraft 2. Uh, StarCraft 2 was launched in 2010, and he didn't get started until about 2011. And uh, it was kind of a slow start for him, but uh, he uh, quickly ramped up and became one of the uh, best StarCraft 2 Zerg players in the entire world. Uh, recently, he did actually take, excuse me, I, know, I have a bit, something in my throat here, first place in the Lone Star Cl Clash 3 uh, in May of 2014. Also took first place in the Numericable M House Cup 3 back in 2013 as well. So Hydra is, uh, he actually has been playing StarCraft 2 since 2011 as well. He doesn't have as many championships as Jadong does, but I think recently he's really kind of come up in the ranks. People know who he is a little bit more than they used to. He did actually <clears throat> end up taking second place in the 2015 WCS Season 1 back in April of, or the, April of 2015 against Polt. He fell there, but really there's not much shame in that whatsoever. And he did take second place in the Gfinity Spring Masters 1 tournament held in March of this year and fell departing. So really fantastic play. We're going to slow things down a little bit. As I've been describing things here, both players have expanded. Both players have lings out trying to kill overlords and uh, some fairly standard stuff here at this point. Both players have a gas and are researching ling speed as Hydra gets his started here. So both, another player going for real all-in builds at this point. I think both of them are really well versed in how to hold those off. So anybody that tries to all-in one of these guys is likely going to lose as it's a kind of fairly easy hold. And then the counter-attack is really going to be devastating to anybody that tries that. So here we have both players kind of going into a bit of a macro game. Again, this is game five between these players. And so I think we're going to see a little bit more caution, a little bit more of a wary attitude from both of these guys, just to make sure that nothing crazy happens. They don't overextend too much and cost themselves the game with a poor decision or two. So third base going down for Jadong now. He feels pretty comfortable. It is a 35 to 33 harvesters. Both players are even, but Jadong taking a bit of a risk with this third. There are Zerglings coming in to beat on it. Uh, what's the response going to be from Jadong? Yeah, sending two Zerglings of his own to take these guys out and actually the health is a little bit higher on the bluelings from Hydra so they chase those guys away and it will take a while actually for Zerglings to kill this hatchery so by the time they can actually get it down there are four Zerglings here now trying to get a bit of surround but no actually Hydra gets his lings away manages to escape every single ling can matter here and as I say that he turns around and dies but uh, lings can matter here in these battles. A big Baneling Zergling attack can come down to just a couple, you know, four, six lings, and that can make the difference. A big swell of lings coming out from Hydra. He wants to kill Jadong now. Holy cow. Running right past the scouting overlords, but again, here's the wall off, you see? They can't get through here. There's th two evolution chambers, a Roche Warren, and another evolution chamber. The queens are here. Only a couple Zerglings can attack at a time. And, I mean, they're just kind of get pounded down one by one here. These guys in the back aren't doing anything at all. More wall-offs coming down. More and more evolution chambers coming up here. Roach is popping out just in time. Canceling these evolution chambers because he doesn't really need any more than two. Maybe three can possibly be good. Yeah, three finished, but those should get canceled. And the roaches are up to hold the wall. So, he wasn't able to keep this base. Obviously, the number of lings out meant he couldn't take a third. And at this point, he has map control. So, Hydra manages to take his third. And was he droning up behind that? He was. It's 47 to 38 harvesters right now. Hydra has a bit of a lead. But the roaches are out. Roaches are very strong against uh, Zerglings, especially if they are in numbers. If they can get surrounded by lings, they can die fairly quickly, especially if the lings have a plus one upgrade. Uh, that just helps them do so much better against roaches. 
And a third base going down now. Four roaches watching that happen for Jadong. This group of links just kind of hanging out. Not doing much at all. Kind of they're going to scout around and see what they can see. Overlord, Overseer actually moving in. Seeing what's going on. Checking for the presence of a third base. And yeah, he sees there is one. The queen kind of tries to shoo that Overseer away. He checks the drone count. Sees it's actually fairly high. And Jadong has to realize he's in a bit of trouble. He's definitely behind. His third base isn't even halfway done yet. So... We'll have to see what the answer is going to be. The Lings are going to town on these rocks, or this uh, debris, rather. Uh, just giving him an additional avenue of attack, but also, you know, giving Jadong an avenue of attack at the same time. And Zerg versus Zerg, spreading creep gives an advantage to your uh, opponent because all Zerg units are faster on creep, not just yours on yours and theirs on theirs. Pretty much any creep, no matter who put it down, <clears throat> Zerg units are going to be faster there. But again, you only get the vision from your creep, so I guess it does matter. You want to spread your creep as best you can. Zerglings coming in, trying to see what they can do about this hatchery, but no, the roaches are there. They are taking down several of those Zerglings as they scout on through. And income tab 60 to 50, Hydra is still up, but there are uh, actually 14 to 18 roaches out right now. 16 to 18, Hydra is doing pretty well. He's keeping up with the roach count from Jadong. Again, he is able to have that extra income with all these workers and that gas, which is really nice. Just barely getting saturated down here. Roaches push up and see, okay, the roach count is about even, and I am actually closer to my opponent's base than I am to home, so I need to back out because reinforcements will be coming soon, as you can see, and I'm not going to win that fight. So Jadong decides to head on back. Scouting Lings just kind of checking, maybe is there a fourth base coming up? Uh, no, there isn't. So there's not much for them to do right now. The roaches just kind of hang out. Again, both players being cautious, don't want to overcommit to anything. If J Dog came in here, he easily probably would have lost that battle. And he just doesn't want to do that whatsoever. So let's see what's going on here. Income tab 60 to 54. J Dog is catching up a little bit, though. His third base is looking pretty good. 10 harvesters, still no gas there, though. Whole ton of roaches. Going to be a bit of a roach on roach battle. It looks like both players getting plus one ranged attack for those ground units. And Hydra actually getting the uh, carapace as well for his roaches. So that should be handy. And these big battles, whoever has the most upgrades tends to do win. Even if they're a little bit down on the roach count, they can actually come out and pull out a victory. So here comes the roach on roach action. So many more. Actually, pretty good concave there from Jadong. Oh, and more reinforcements coming in as well. The top of this ramp is not a place that Hydra wants to be, but he decides to push in anyway and take the top of the ramp himself. So a little bit of a choke here. Can he get down? And yeah, he gets right on in, super up close. None of the, uh, the plus one, yes, plus one attack is done for both players, but Jadong has the plus one armor, so... Roaches attacking Roaches. It can be really difficult to say who's going to go ahead and actually win these battles. It is really close, but Hydra says, nope, I'm actually going to lose this one. I'm going to do a bit of some kiting here, a bit of stutter stepping to get away. But uh, I am going to retreat from this battle back to the safety of my own creep where I can get reinforcements. And we'll see if Jadong decides to follow me all the way home. And Jadong says, no, I'm going to hang out here at the Zelnaga Watchtower for a second. And then actually head on home myself. Again, both players feeling a little bit, a uh, little cautious. Don't want to make a mistake. You know, understandable at this point. It is game five. It is very important to move on to the next round of this tournament. So Macro Hatch coming up now for Hydra. Everybody just kind of hanging out at home. If, uh, 64 to 55 Harvesters now for Hydra. He is up in that count. It is pretty close in supply though. 165 to 163. And let's see here, Missile Attack level 2 coming up for Jadong right now. That's going to be really big for him, but Missile Attack level 2 for Hydra is going to finish here in just a few seconds as well. Are we going to see that popping up? Yes, absolutely we are. So both players will have plus 2 attack. Yep, 13 seconds left on that, but it looks like Jadong might actually have plus 2 armor in just a couple seconds here, which will be huge because um, Hydra actually doesn't... Well, he's close. I guess if he can hold off this attack for a little bit, I wonder if he's waiting for that upgrade to finish. It is a few seconds out before he attacks. That could be so useful, but he says, uh, yeah, poking in, just kind of doing a bit of a scout there. Plus one armor, or plus two armor, just about to finish here, and there it goes, and now he moves into attack. Even if there is a concave, he feels comfortable because his roaches could take more hits than Hydra's. And again, it's just a fantastic concave from Hydra. But Jadong's Roaches are a little bit stronger with that armor. Reinforcements are coming in, though, from Hydra. Jadong says, oh, my upgrade advantage was not quite enough. I'm going to get back up to a more advantageous position at the top of this ramp. And no, actually, Hydra comes out on top. Even though he was down on upgrades, he managed to have the better concave and the greater Roach count. And in the end, is chasing Jadong away. And he actually has Burrow. 
All right, so these guys are healing up very quickly. You'll notice this guy here, how quickly that's going up all the way to 145 to full health. And this army is healed up. Well, Jadong's Roaches, um, I guess there's a couple of them that are hurt here. These guys sneaking in for an attack. And are they... Yeah, they're going to try to snipe down this queen before anybody is the wiser. Are they going to burrow and try to get in and do some scouting is the question. The major attack here, actually, though, from Hydra. Getting a bit flanked here by these Roaches on the side, but I think there are more from Hydra, so they're going to do a little bit better. These Roaches are burrowed. Coming up, trying to do some damage, but there are enough roaches from Jadong to keep that at bay. Meanwhile, back here, again, the concave is good from Hydra. More reinforcements coming on in. He does have the plus two, plus two upgrades. There is no advantage for Jadong, and this group is looking scary. These roaches coming right on in. They're going to decimate the rest of these defensive roaches for Jadong. Get into the worker line, and that's it. Jadong calls the GG. Hydra takes the series. And that is it. He'll move on to the next round. So fantastic play from Hydra. Even without that upgrade advantage, even maybe without the Roach count advantage, he managed to hold off that push. And his counterattack was so strong that eventually he overwhelmed Jadong and took the victory for himself and the series. So this has been Falcon Paladin. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe to catch more daily StarCraft 2 uploads. And until next time, you take care of yourself.